YouTube, what's up, man? I know it's the weekend. Everybody's grinding weekend league, and that's what it's all about. At this time, I'm probably 10-0. I'm playing Wink Goat, as you guys know. Last year's Minnesota Club Series champion, so I know it's going to be a tough game. I'm really locked in. I'm playing well on weekend, weekend league. Uh, was top 100 last week, trying to get in that top 10, get them top 10 rewards. That's what it's all about, man. You guys can watch me play live. Hit that Twitch link. It is below in the description along with any of the offense or the defense that you see. You can also play for money online, man. If your man game is getting tough, you can play for money online. Hit that link to go to Players Lounge. Go ahead and sign up there. Play for $5, $10, whatever it may be. Also, man, you guys can go ahead and cop some t-shirts. Needed Gaming. This week, we did announce that we signed Clef to the label. Doing this esports thing on my own. Trying to make a name for myself, man. So, go ahead and support. Cop a couple little t-shirts, hoodies. You know, it's, it's winter time. But, I'm playing Went Go, and he's coming out in goal line. And I did not expect this, obviously, right away. You see the formation, but I thought it might be Jumbo or something like that. The first drive, I'm going to try a little nickel over G. That's what I've been running. It's pretty real popular defense right now because of the block sheds. But as you see, that first play gets a lot of yards. Second play, Jamal Adams hits stick. He recovers it, though. Third play, the dive. It goes to the crib. I do a good job of, you know, clicking on with Sean Taylor and just trying not to give up a touchdown. I mean, he gets an extra 40 yards probably, but I just didn't give up the touchdown. Next play, he tries to sneak in a pass. Throws it right at two people. Should be a pick, but bleh. Not so much. Next play, he goes another dive. We get caught up, and he goes to the end zone. So that first drive, if he's running just goal line, I don't think nickel over G is going to be the move. Going to have to try something next uh, next drive on, on you know his offensive drive to try to stop him a little bit better. Here we go. Sideline pass to Moss. Can't keep his feet in. I like that play. I'm going to go ahead and keep going to it just because this play action does a real good job against um against these block shed defenses he's in a little more of a 4-3 he's mixing up the coverage a lot going to um a lot of cross man with his linebackers most of the time it's just cover two but he's trying to get these you know the glitchy pass rush and things like that as we hit calvin johnson megatron with a little playmaker action playmaker feature is something i haven't used in the last couple years but man i'm really loving it right now it's making a lot of things a lot easier but here we go i tried to take a shot with three streaks and nobody's open Got to get rid of the ball with Michael Vick, man. That's why you should all have Michael Vick. Not only to scramble past the line as we hit a comeback route there. Sometimes you can be boxed and you can run backwards away from the pressure and throw the ball away. Hit a little flat route inside the 10. Got to score touchdowns down here. We try to get the ball off to Todd Gurley. Can't get in right there on a two-yard line. We're just going to try to run it in again, and we get boxed. Had to settle for three, man. When you're playing somebody running the ball like this, it's tough to settle for threes because when they have the lead, it's easy for them to play goal line. Second drive, I'm going to come out in a little nickel normal. Get a little more physical. Put more people in the box. You see, I'm going to blitz. Every time he drops back to pass, I'm going to send seven people at him, make him make a read real quick. But in order to, uh, you know, get him to have to pass, I have to stop the run. There we go. We miss a little hit stick there. We I got Cam Chancellor and Sean Taylor at linebacker. I mean, they're going to be physical enough to, to hold up pretty well down there. Here he goes again. Hits me with a little playmaker of his own. As you can see, I sent seven. He had enough time to just escape out of there with Vic. Go a little dive right there. We see Jadavion Clowney, the predator, making a play. Gurley in the backfield. See, as you see, I'm sending everybody at him. And Vic's just running away, but there's nowhere to throw the ball. He throws the ball away. That's okay. Get him to a third and 12. He goes with a little dive. Jamal Adams strip. Can't get the ball out. So he's going to go ahead and settle for the three at the two-minute warning. I get the ball at half. I feel fine. As long as I score points here, I'm going to be, have a chance to take a lead coming out of half. He sends everybody at me. That play hits the quarterback, but Vic gets rid of the ball. Next play, we're going to dump it underneath to Shannon Sharp. Just fall down because, honestly, I want the clock running right now. This needs to be the last drive of the half for me. Next play to Shannon Sharp. We're going to fall down again, but I dive instead, and I fumble. Disgusting. And he's pretty much in field goal range already. Goes a little toss. Jalen Ramsey holds me down on the edge right there. Next play goes a little play action. Going to dump it underneath here to uh, Ricky Williams, I believe. Oh, no, that's Gurley. But I make the play with Cam Chancellor right there. Goes with another uh, dive right there. We blow it up. Call timeout. Goes man is my coach. Fourth down, like I said, we're sending seven. Now, it looked like almost eight I sent that play. Bagged it up. We get the ball again. Got another chance, but he picks me off. I thought I had the angle right there. I thought uh, Shannon Sharp led, but, you know, that's Sean Taylor with that 99 speed. He lurked me. Rare for me to get picked off by a user, but that was a great play. Just was way faster than Shannon Sharp was right there, and he gets the high ball pass to Shockey. 
So boom, we go from 10 to 3, getting that getting a fumble, but still getting the ball back, and then we throw the pick. So we're down 14 to a runner, which is really tough, but we're able to hit this crossing route up here to Randy Moss. Get out of bounds. 19 seconds and a timeout. Got to go ahead and make sure we get some points here. Throw the ball over here to Calvin Johnson. We're, oh, we're in field goal range already. Dump it off to Julio Jones, and we get strip, fumble, no field goal for me. That's going to pretty much end the half. So we just left a lot of points on the board, man. We we went from we got two fumbles already, and we got the pick, man. That's three possessions where I should have points. When you're playing a runner, that keeps them in the game. It keeps them able to run the ball, run the clock. Really got to be able to capitalize on offense if you're going to try to beat a runner. And right the second half, I need to get points on this drive to stay alive. That's all I need to do. Shannon Sharp right there, boom. Get out of bounds. I'm still going to take my check downs. I still have to play good offense. Just because I'm down doesn't mean I have to chuck the ball all the way down the field and throw streaks all day. I still got to take what the defense gives me. Just need to make sure I, I get seven here. That's the most important thing. I'm going to continue to run this play. It does a great job against the, the block shed defenses, man. It really cover two. He's really not defending this play that well at all. Like I said, you see any of the offensive defense you like, you can go in and hit Madden Turf. Check all the ebooks out. The Skimbo ebooks out. My ebooks are out. Offense, defense, a lot of things brought to you by the turf guy. We get to a third and seven here, man. And what I want to try to do is fit one in down here because I need seven. Throw a high ball to Keyshawn, but who that guy swats it. And of course, Sean Taylor again just dives out of nowhere and catches it. So I'm still down 14. We got to fight, though, man. YouTube, we got to fight. Once I get him sitting, everybody at him throws it underneath. Jalen Ramsey come up with a big tackle over there on uh, Jeremy Shockey. Runs again. Jamal Adams hits the gets him to a fourth down. So we're gonna get the ball back, man. I feel like that's four turnovers already. We've had four turnovers and we're still in this game. All we need to do is go make sure we score seven. Even getting a field goal that that drive would have been cool. That pick was killer. That Sean Taylor came up with that. Randy Moss a little rack egg action first down. Give it off to Gurley. Pick up a cool fifteen with the animation we all hate when it happens to us, but love it when it happens for for us. But, like I said, we got to keep taking what's available, man. We're getting close to the end of the third quarter. Got a second and seven underneath. Hit the Randy Moss. Third and seven. I need a touchdown here, man. I can't settle for anything. I'm really boxed this play. Frustrated. What I do just because I'm just frustrated. I slide, get down. Damn. Got to go for this, man. A field goal doesn't hurt me. I'm not going to get the ball back three times this game. Throw a little curl. And playmaker, I'm over. Shannon Sharp tries this fork or tries to give up that first down. But I got the first down. Got to get an end zone here. Dump it off to Calvin Johnson, man. The time's a fact. I got to score quick. Give me a chance. Throw it underneath the girly. Doesn't hold on to it. Next play, man. Third and five. We're just going to go up to our playmaker, Randy Moss. Touchdown. High ball in the end zone. If you're not high balling in the end zone, you're not trying to score. So we're down by seven, man. We're good. We've stopped him so much. It's not killing us. First play, we get hit with a toss because I just, I just, nah, I didn't have enough people on that side. My auto flip wasn't on. My extra DB was on the left. I got killed by the toss, but we're going to hold on here. All we got to do is keep him from getting a first down. He's so close to field goal range already. He goes toss over here. Bang. Why can't we get off? The, and look at just Gurley fighting. Can't give up a first down. He goes fullback dive. Oh, man. Who's on the ground right there? I think Cam Chancellor on the ground. So now we got to stop him, Sean Taylor. So much for safeties being able to block shit. Cam Chancellor laying on the ground. Next play, he runs toss. He's at the 42. This is so close. I can't give up a field goal. He goes dive again. Patrick Peterson sheds at the 40-yard line. This is my one thing I hate about Madden. Field goals are too easy. A 57-yarder, no problem. So now we're going to need an onside kick. We need two scores, though. Dump it on the Shannon Sharp. Get out of bounds, man. As long as you get out of bounds, you can take these little 5- to 10-yard plays. But you got to get out of bounds. He blitzes me with his user. Throw it over the top. When you get a big chunk like that, it's okay. The clock is running. We got to go ahead and try to get this. And we go. I just quick snap. Playmaker back. Randy Moss. Going to get a rack egg. Complete. I'm going to go ahead and what I'm going to do is kick my field goal right now to give me a chance. The only way I get back in this game is two scores. I need to give myself enough chance. If I possibly do get the onside kick, then I can go ahead and, and get a touchdown. But I got to get the first score first. Kick this field goal. It's going to be 30 seconds left and we need an onside kick. Obviously, haven't seen a lot of onside kicks here in Madden. And you know what? I don't know what to do, but like I said, I haven't seen a lot of onside kicks in Madden, and we're still not going to see an onside kick recovered. As he recovers, takes a knee, ends the game, man. And that just shows you, man, as far as the run, 
getting stopped by nickel. Obviously, it's not the best run defense, but if I was able to score, even kick a couple more field goals here and there, I would have had a better chance to win that game, man. No matter what you, what your defenders are doing or what your opponent is doing, if he's running the ball, you got to score on offense. And not only score, you have to score sevens. I mean, I kicked the field goal my first drive and turned the ball over four times. Still had an opportunity to win the game in the end. It shows you, man, if you... You don't need spectacular offense if you play good defense and turn the ball over, whether it be fumbles, tip picks, and even that one user alert, man. If you can make some plays on defense, you can run any type of offense out there. But like I said, please hit the like button. Please comment on if you've ever faced goal line and what you would have ran to stop the goal line offense.